Welcome to the Okanagan Sun Coaches Show for Week 11. The Sun will celebrate Thanksgiving this Sunday afternoon by renewing their rivalry with the only undefeated team in the Canadian Junior Football League, the 8-0 Vancouver Island Raiders. The Sun held the Raiders to just 16 points in the first meeting of the season as the defensive line for the Sun was great in Nanaimo. The last time these two teams met at the Apple Bowl was August 16th of last season as the Sun tackled their way to a 23-19 win. That was also the last time the Raiders lost. Sun head coach Pete McCall tells us what they worked on during their bye week. Well, we worked hard during the bye week there. We uh, we went Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and uh, we hit every night, and we conditioned every night, and uh, we did our basic stuff that we always do, and uh, we deserved four days off, so we gave them four days off after that. Here we are, ready to go, biggest uh, week of the year. Yeah, you host the Raiders for the uh, home finale, I guess you could say here at the Apple Bowl, for the regular season. How have you prepared for the Raiders with a healthy Andrew Harris in the lineup? Well, we prepared earlier in the season for Andrew Harris. Uh, we had a, a new defense that we had planned to play uh, for the first time we met, uh, and then he didn't play that game, so we didn't unleash it. So we got a, we got a new defense to, to, to play uh, versus Andrew. That's what we're going to do. You mentioned that game uh, a month ago. You played a very good game in Nanaimo. Uh, does that help the confidence of the team coming into this weekend? Yeah, I think they uh, they know we can play against them. And, uh, you know, of course, Andrew didn't play in that game, and that he is, you know, definitely a, a factor. So, uh, you know, it's exciting. You know, they definitely, you know, showed what they can do last week against Big Kahuna. And uh, so, yeah, it's uh, it's a pretty exciting week here. We're, we're really uh, excited for this challenge. This could be the final home game of the year at the Apple Bowl here this season, at least. Uh, is it important to strong at home for your fans? Oh, yeah, you always want to win at home. And, uh, you know, that's what we plan to do. You go into every game, you want to win. Again, it is. Uh, it feels like a playoff game, but it really is just week nine in the schedule here. And it's just a, a game, that, another game that we got to win. It is just another game, but for 17 of your graduates, this could be the final home game for them. Do you think it'll be a little bit emotional? Oh yeah, I, I remember you know vaguely it's going back a few years, but I remember those that last day uh, when we played Surrey in here, and uh, yeah, it was a very emotional day. Uh, but uh, this doesn't have to be the last time they play in here, and that's that's uh, definitely some motivation. Big, uh, I guess you could say, week off acquisition in the front office, so to speak, with Howie Zarin leaving the Chilliwack Huskers, joining the Okanagan Sun. You're the head coach of this team. Just your thoughts on that? Well, I think it's great. Uh, you know, Howie's a guy that uh, he likes to do that recruiting work, and that I'll tell you, he's a full time job. That's a lot of uh, hours on the phone and and uh, shaking hands and meeting parents, and uh, that's not really my forte. I mean, I, I understand how important it is, and I do know that I have to make the final contacts with the kids. But uh, to have somebody that can go out there and do all that legwork for you, that's fantastic. When he's he said he was interested in that. We were, uh, you know, we welcomed him with open arms. The Vancouver Island Raiders are eight and zero and made a statement last week by shutting out the second place South Surrey Rams sixty four nothing. Andrew Harris made his full return after a month long knee injury. Harris and the rest of the Raiders are healthy for their trip to the Okanagan. And head coach Matt Blocker says the defense is simply playing great. Well, I think right now defensively, uh, first of all, I know I got to give credit to our defensive coaches. I think they're doing a great job preparing our guys, and and uh, more than anything, uh, you know, we're we're gelling together as a team uh, on that side of the ball, and I think our defensive backs play is, is getting much better, and and um, you know, and I think our front seven is allowing us to uh, our DBs to focus on just covering pass and not be worried about the run and they're taking care of that. Uh, they did a great job last week and uh, you know, and then we're getting at the quarterback and I think mean, if you get pressure and get the quarterback, it, you know, good things can happen on that side of the ball. It's been a funny schedule for the Raiders. You had the long road stand first off and then you come home for five straight games and now you're back on the road. It's It's been a weird one, hasn't it? Yeah, you know, normally you get a little more of a balanced situation, um, you know, and uh, which usually is a little bit better, but you know, like I say, you know, when you get to the beginning of the year, you got to look at it and make the positive side of it and, um, you know, we've had an opportunity to get a little more healthy and, and play some games at home uh, when we were banged up, so we kind of looked at that as, you know, uh, positive. Uh, we, we played pretty pretty good at our pick and, and uh, you know, we were able to get, uh, squeak out some wins when uh, we weren't too healthy. This week you traveled to the Okanagan to face the Sun in a park where you actually suffered your last loss some uh, 19 games ago. If you're looking for motivation this late in the season, is that it? Well, I think that's part of it. Uh, I think the other motivation is we didn't play. We, we thought that good, uh, especially when you watch film when they were in our park. And, uh, you know, uh, we'd like to make amends for that as well. And, and, uh, you know, and last of all, it's, uh, you don't need a whole lot of motivation. It's the Okanagan Sun, and we're in the Apple Bowl. And, uh, you know, other than that loss, uh, you know, we played pretty good up there, and, and uh, we went back and redeemed ourselves. And, and uh, we feel we kind of ripped the sun off when they came and played us here. We didn't give them their best, so we wanted to try to give them our, our best this weekend. Coach, last time you faced the Sun, you mentioned they have always seemed to be the team to beat for the Raiders. 
uh, with their long-standing tradition. Do you feel like the Raiders are starting now to take over that title? Well, I don't know if we're taking over that title yet. You know, we're I think uh, we're still a long ways away from uh, comparing two organizations as far as you know tradition and what's happened in the, you know in the past years. But you know, we can kind of only control what's in front of us. We do know one thing that we want to become that program. So uh, that's our goal as an organization, and, and you know, and we're working hard towards it. But you know, uh, for us, uh, you know, like I say, the Okanagan Sun, they, uh, they usually bring the best out of us, and we're always excited to play them. And um, you know, this week's no different. And, and uh, we love the atmosphere up there, and, and uh, like I say, we can't wait to get up there, and, and then hopefully we have a good Thanksgiving. Are you bringing your turkey with you? Well, actually, uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna eat some cloner turkey up there this weekend, <laughs> and and uh, have a good meal on Saturday night, and hopefully that uh, gets us a good rest, and uh, you know fills us up and uh, helps prepare us. So, but we're gonna have lots of fun and, and enjoy the trip, and you always have to when you go to Kelowna, and that's kind of a whole part of that road trip. It's the funnest one for us. This has been the Okanagan Sun Coaches Show for Week 11. We'll talk to you live from the Apple Bowl Sunday afternoon at 1 o'clock. Until then, I'm Ryan Waters. Happy Thanksgiving.